Hey guys, Shabadooby here, and this is going to be my review of Dragon Ball Super Episode 70. And I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. I didn't expect this episode to be anything, and I was surprised that it, as, like, it was something. It made me laugh a little bit, and it was a competent episode. You know, it wasn't, it, like, it had action, it had comedy. It was just, it was there. It kind of reminded me of the, um, of the... Like of the uh, this driving test episode of Dragon Ball Z, but this one actually, I I kind of liked. So let's go ahead and start off with the review a little bit. Uh, where to start? Basically, uh, Beerus and Champa decide to have a baseball match to do like to have a friendly game to I like, just do nothing. Like, and Trumpa decides to, yeah, let's do this so that he can uh, eat their food. And that's about it. This is, that's the goal of him. So he gets their baseball team together, which consists of, like, half universe, uh, six people, and uh, then Vegeta and Goten, and then himself. So basically, it was just a, a fun little episode. Where you get to see Vegeta and Goku battle it out in baseball instead of fighting. And also, you know, Champa and Beerus. Which Beerus never did play in baseball, but Champa did. And uh, if there's two characters who I actually enjoyed in this episode, it would be Yamcha here. Right here. You know, you see him in his most iconic pose. In fact, that happens in the episode, obviously. So, uh, And then Champa. Because his reactions to some of the bullshit that happens to him while playing uh, baseball was kind of funny. Like, uh, Goku's fucking first pitch. He, um, like, almost disintegrates the ball. And it's, like, this big when it, like, hits and and it gets kind of a strike. But he gets warned that if he does it again, he's going to get kicked out. So, then, uh, like... The second time it was a uh, ball, and then the third one, he's getting a home run, and Trunks shoots the ball down, and uh, I, I don't remember if he caught it or someone else caught it, but he's like, "What the? That that should be against the rules, you know." Just his reactions was funny, and Yamcha has some really good reactions too. He goes, "Like I'm pretty sure he knew that no one else knew how to play baseball, like him and Piccolo." It's like. These people are idiots. Like they're just terrible. And you know, Yamcha actually got to show all of his baseball skills. So he might not be a good fighter, but he's a good baseball player. And he shows that off with his um, skills in baseball. Like he has a like he combined uh, the Wolfang Fisk and his Spirit Ball attack to be able to manipulate the ball. So when he pitches, he can have the ball avoid the bat and you know get a strike so he is able to get a couple of people out with that and um you know Yamcha was the MVP for this because he went through so much hell in this episode like just saying like the shit he went through impressed me because he's he's almost normal like he's like like he's the weakest guy out here and he's actually playing baseball with all these people who's like so much stronger than him now because he's he's been outshadowed by like everyone every character's outshadowed him now so oh, poor Yamcha I miss I miss when he was a cool cocky character back in Dragon Ball but hey he did show that he's still a character that is actually not bad like, I kind of wish they would do more of him, but it, it's kind of impossible to do more of him with what the current stuff is going on, like gods and shit. But, hey, if they ever could do something more of Yamcha to make him relevant again, I would be okay with that. Yamcha's not bad. But, you know, even Toei knows what he's all about, though. <laughs> like, you could... 
This is an iconic post from the uh, Cyberman. Like, all that's missing is a Cyberman arm. I'm surprised they didn't have, have his hat sitting there where the Cyberman arm usually is in the that that little picture. But, uh, poor Yamcha. Uh, one part that I was also pretty interested in was the uh, Goku versus Vegeta as Vegeta is the pitcher and Goku is the batter. They went both Super Saiyan Blue. And they had a... Normally this would be a beam clash or something. But it was a baseball and a bat clashing. And instead of a beam struggle, it was a baseball struggle. And I thought that was pretty interesting. And I don't know. I, I liked it. Like this episode, I surprisingly, I enjoyed. Like more than I should. Because it's a generic baseball episode with Dragon Ball Z characters. In fact, it gave me everything I expected and a little bit more. So, I I praise it for that. So, I'm going to give Dragon Ball Super Episode 70 an 8.5 out of 10. The reason I'm not really giving it higher than that is because it's, it's not really anything. It's a little one-off episode just to kind of waste your time and uh, wait for next week where the real arc actually... Like, a real arc is actually going to start next week. Hopefully, I think that's a real arc. Could be. I don't know. These last two episodes have been kind of iffy, but I mean, they they wasn't bad, but they're still iffy. This one I did enjoy though. So, if you like Yamcha, this is your episode. Like, unless you're actually expecting him to be like a super badass, and this will be half your episode because he does like trash talk Vegeta at one point. You know, he's like, points the bat, you know, and kind of does some, sh like, uh, throws some shade at Vegeta. He's like, there's no way you're going to be able to strike me out or something crazy. But yeah. Uh, but that's when Vegeta, like, hits him with the ball, so. That's the beginning of his torment. <laughs> Poor Yamcha. But yeah, uh, I suggest checking this out if you like, uh, the, uh, the comedic uh, Dragon Ball Super episodes goes, this is probably the better one to watch. Uh, it is better than most of the first two arcs of this series, sadly. So, I'm just saying it. Um, a episode mostly focusing on Yamcha and Champa and baseball is better than the first two arcs of this series. Unless you're watching the movies, and that's okay. Alright. Uh, now... It's time for me to ch uh, chill out a little bit and say you should subscribe to me on YouTube. And if you're watching this on VidMe, which because I've been uploading to VidMe, well, after YouTube, obviously, so you should follow me. And you should hit the like slash upvote button because I'm going to just say whatever I, get, I can to get some people to watch my episode, like my videos, and, you know, check me out. So if you're watching on YouTube or VidMe, Hit that subscribe slash follow slash whatever button and follow me. And make sure to leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this episode. Did you like it? Did you think Yamcha was actually relevant? Because I, I actually liked him in this episode. Uh, I know, you know, it's Yamcha and his fate is to be blown up and look like that. But, you know, hey, Yamcha... Yamcha has a special place in my heart. So, let me know what you think about Yamcha there. You know, I, I actually read a dao, like, uh, Daojin the other day. A actual Daojin, not like a hentai. But, um, one that was all about Yamcha. So, you know, it's, it's his story, kind of. And it was actually pretty good. Where they kind of upped his power and stuff. It, it wasn't bad. I don't know what the name of it is, but you should check it out if you ever see it. So, that's it for this uh, review. So, make sure to watch more of my stuff whenever you get a chance to. In fact, there's annotations, if you didn't already know some, that you can click on to watch more of my videos. Unless you're watching on VidMe, which you can't see them, I guess. But, thanks for watching, and have a great day.